Episode 39 of the fastest growing hitting podcast on the market, the Lab Epstein Hitting Podcast, Episode 39, Mechanical Breakdown Series, Volume 8. And today we are breaking down DJ LeMay, who just signed a six year, $90 million extension last week with the Yankees. And financial burden aside across baseball, right? What pandemic? Um, but this contract is exciting because he's not a Lindor, Springer. I mean, the list goes on and on. But he brings something different and to sign that that name on the dotted line for a guy who's not really considered a star or at least wasn't considered too much of a star back going back to his time with the rockies this is a great thing for him and it's certainly well deserved yeah so to me i would say dj lemayhew is well way more important than most players to a team. I think he really solidified that Yankee team. Mm-hmm. Uh, most people don't know who he is because he played in Colorado, and nobody nobody watches the Rockies. Nobody, mm-hmm. the, you know, ESPN isn't going to put a Rockies game on. You mm-hmm. know, um, just like they don't really put on Diamondbacks games or Brewer games right. um, or Twins games. You know, for that matter. So. Mm-hmm. Um, so people don't see him, but he was, you know, he was an all-star in Colorado. He won a batting title in Colorado. Um, you know, he hit 348, you know, he hit 310, he hit 330, he's hit 330 twice, he hit 364 last year and in somewhat of a shortened uh season, you Mm -hmm. know, but he still had uh, you know, 200 at bats last year. So, you know, he is a guy that's now he he has started to hit, you know, more home runs, right? Now he's starting to hit, you know, double digits and and more home runs. So I've seen him since he started. Like I've seen him, I've seen him since he came up, you know, with the Rockies. And he's a he's a quiet guy, right? He's not super flashy, but the dude hits. Yeah. And if I'm gonna teach a kid, I know he's six foot you know, four, I believe something like that. But right. if I'm going to teach a kid how to hit, I'm going to use most of the components of LeMahieu swing. So I'm really excited for this analysis because I haven't done a public analysis on him. I do it, use, do it a lot for my players that are on the, the, you know, the Epstein online Academy or my, sure. even my lessons here, I'll use him as a comparison. So mm-hmm. this is going to be, uh, this is going to be pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Excuse me. Yeah. And he's never been considered in the elite class. Until he joined the Yankees, as I mentioned, you know, two years ago, I loved him when he was a free agent and I circled Mm -hmm. a few teams that could have used him and the small investment the Yankees obviously made paid off, certainly. Mm -hmm. But why is DJ and you mentioned that because he was was in Colorado, but people knew Todd Helton, people knew Troy Tulowitzki Mm -hmm. as a household name throughout Major League Baseball. So why has he been sort of a forgotten player throughout his career, in your opinion? No, he doesn't hit 30 home runs. Okay. You know, or 40 mm-hmm. home runs for that matter. You mm-hmm. know, too low hit, hit a bunch of home runs. Helton, yeah. you know, hit a, hit whole, a lot of home runs in his heyday. LeMay, he really didn't. You know, he was a high average guy. Right. He used the whole field. That's not um, fun being the high average it's, guy. It's it's not it's not fun in today's. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm looking at his his home run totals. His his first, you know, I mean, he hit two home runs and 230 at bats his first, you know, that was about a half a season. Mm-hmm. And uh, then the next year he hit two more home runs. Then he finally hit five home runs. Yeah. Six yeah. home runs, 11, eight, 15. And then boom, he hits more home runs in New York than he does in Colorado. Right. Well, everybody's like, Oh my gosh, Colorado is a band box. It's so small. And then yeah. the, Colorado's huge. Yeah. You can hit for a high average there because the gaps are huge, but it's not small. You go to Yankee Stadium, it's like 165 feet to right center where everybody right. hits their little home runs. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's a little, league, little league distance. It's very small 200 to feet, right, yeah. right center field. And LeMahieu is a right center field machine. So yeah. it's a perfect setup for him to hit 20 home runs. But yeah, he's he's not flashy. He, he didn't hit a lot of home runs. You know, yeah. he's he is a big guy. And so for a big guy not to hit, you know, 20 home runs in today's age is yeah. is not exciting. But I'm pretty sure he won a Gold Glove. Did he win a Gold Glove? Well, so I was going over, so I was going over his resume, so to speak, and his numbers on Baseball Reference, doing the prep for the show this week. I didn't even look at his home run total in mm-hmm. any year because I knew he's just not a power guy. I always looked at the average, right. the on base percentage, and so, and the slugging as well, and the amount of doubles that he hit. So let me mm-hmm. let me go over a little bit of his resume here. He plays college ball at LSU, hold the Tiger. Second rounder by the Cubs, three-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger, 
and batting champion. He was a two-time batting champion. People forget mm. that too. And you mentioned gold glove. He was a three-time gold glover as well. Okay. That's an excellent yeah. resume to me. Yeah, right. Now you circle back to 2015. He was an all-star that year. This is what I found. It kind of blew my mind a little bit. He hit 301, drove in 61. That's another thing too, by the way. The RBI right. total has never been very, very large. Mm -hmm. um, with an on-base percentage of 358. That was in 2015. The next year, he led the league in hitting at 348, on-base 416, slugging 495, OPS 911. Those were career highs at the time. And he wasn't an all-star this year, uh, that year, 2016. Mm -hmm. How do you figure that? Mm, somebody better. <laughs> I, I guess Baez, he led the league Baez, in hitting. Maybe Baez came in that year. Baez, did Baez have a big year? What are you talking about? 16? 2016. Yeah. Okay. Who was the all not, not, not even to be named to the team. Injustice. Maybe he got hot late. I mean, you hit 348. <laughs> That's, I mean, you're hitting throughout the year. What are, so, okay, good, good, good point. What are the, what, 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 kind of slump do you have to go through what are the length of slumps you have to go through to still to be able to hit 348 348 oh above Lord. like what like uh, you can't go one for 30 you have to go, you can't go like one for that oh you for might 10 have at the most yeah you might have a one for 20 okay two for 30 yeah that's about no, it two for 30 oh wow once that can only happen once throughout the season that's it yes yeah no you you got it you can't even you got to minimize it like no yeah. other yeah. All right. Well, let's get into the video analysis here. Are you ready to do the video analysis? I don't have it on the uh, the Google Drive, by the way. So if you'd like to put it in the Google Drive, I can stall for you because I am the pro at stalling and, and bullshitting. But or you can just turn the uh, you are. On. I am, as you probably know, you know what I could what I could do. We could yes. talk. Let's talk about his childhood. Do you okay. have anything about his his childhood you can talk about? I do not have anything about. Did he his did he play any other sports? Probably, I would say basketball. I think if he probably I... played basketball. You know, there's a website by the way. It's called um, I, I think it's athletesbiographies.com. I encourage everybody to go take a look at it, and they have all athletes biographies. I don't know how really? uh, accurate they are, but I learned. I used to read that when I was a kid, and this was you know years ago. Yeah. But I, there was one Delwyn Young. You remember Delwyn Young? Delman sure. Young, excuse me, Delman Delman Young. Young. He he, former outfielder. He's on that. Yeah. He was in that that jumble of names. And I once heard with Delman Young that he had a um, weak arm in high school, and he worked on it until he got really good at good at, at getting his arm stronger. And I'm sure DJ LeMahieu is probably on that website somewhere. Now, I don't have time to look at it right now. We don't really, but I encourage everybody to go ahead and do it. And there's a bunch of like, the NBA players, NHL guys, NFL guys. So there you go. That's good stuff. 